I think it's safe to say that uh, the legislative climate toward um, higher education has, has been moving. That's University of Texas at Austin President Jay Hartzell making his first public remarks about the more than four dozen university faculty laid off over the implementation of Senate Bill 17, the state's ban on diversity, equity and inclusion initiatives. As a consequence, uh, you know, we are, have to make choices uh, to worry about the long run uh, future of the university. And uh, it's not just um, are we compliant with SB 17 in the short run. It was two weeks ago UT announced the closure of its Office of Campus and Community Engagement and what they say was compliance with the ban, which took effect in January. Hartzell says at one point he felt the actions taken ahead of the January effective date had been enough, despite the future closures and layoffs. Just to be clear, I, I believe and continue to believe um, that we were in compliance on January 1st. And um, it's been clear from the writings and reports uh, since then, some will disagree. Since then, a number of students and some faculty have expressed skepticism at best and condemnation at worst towards the implementation of the law. Last week, we reported that a group of UT students penned an open letter asking for answers from Hartzell and the law's author, State Senator Brandon Creighton. I think that the Texas legislature has put us in a really difficult position of creating a false dichotomy between teaching and uh, research and student services and support. Hartzell says the official number from the university is 49 faculty members who were laid off as a result. They'll be paid up until July 5th. And if any jobs open up with the university, those faculty members get special priority in the application process. I find myself grappling with many conflicting emotions. Confusion still lingering at the University of Texas at Austin tonight as students and faculty face the realities of Senate Bill 17. I must implore our administration to push back on what's happening at the Texas Ledge. The law bans diversity, equity and inclusion initiatives at Texas public colleges and universities. Just a few weeks ago, UT Austin announced layoffs for those working in DEI programs. President Jay Hartzell says it's a move that had to be made in order to comply with the law. As you know, it's an incredibly complex campus and uh, there were a lot of but people, programs, and activities that had some part uh, uh, that was, uh, we believed, affected by the law. On the chopping block, DCCE. According to the department's website, DCCE, the Division of Campus and Community Engagement, provided support and resources for students facing significant challenges in accessing education. But sometimes we need a little help and that's what DCC is here for, to provide support, but now we don't have that anymore. That's Amy Don Juan. She's a first generation student leader at UT Austin. I came here because of a woman called Tiffany Lewis. Her favorite professor was fired. So it was very painful on many fronts as a former student and then also as an employee. Dr. Lewis, a three time UT graduate and educator of over 20 years at the university, is saying her goodbyes to the 40 acres. It actually felt like a little bit of a betrayal, um, especially for me, uh, because I put so much time and effort into a place that I love so much. So while we are a part of a division of diversity, our work is really, it really transcends many spaces and many um, aspects of the institution. And while Dr. Lewis looks for another university to call home, she still has her students in mind. I feel like the future is bright, you know, with the students that we have on our campus. And I just wanted to say publicly that I really appreciate them. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.